Go ahead. All right, I'm back with another quick installation of all these videos. Um, as you can see, I completed the panel uh, for the most part as far as soldering all the cells together. And this is basically going to be the first test I get it in full sun. Uh, there's clouds over the sun. Uh, I'm not getting full sunlight, and in the shade, I was getting nine and a half volts. So hopefully, I can get something over 12. 10.79, 10 10.8, 10.72, 10.5. Not bad considering that we're in the shade. It's actually not bad at all. As you guys remember, the target goal voltage is 12 volts, so I can charge 12 volt systems, um, three three quarter amps. I wish I had a resistor so I can measure the current. Give it a shot anyway. And the sun went away. I'm going about half an amp. Just not enough sun. But I still consider it a success. Uh, because in the shade, I'm getting over 10 and a half volts. Which is pretty good. Um, in full light, 12 o'clock in the middle of the day, I, I, I do expect to get the 12 volts. So, mission success. Um, there are a few other things I want to do to this panel. I'll make a breakout, have alligator leads coming out so I can put these to any battery or any other system. Um, maybe have some voltage regulators for small voltages like 9 and 5 volts so I can directly charge 9 or 5 volt devices on the panel. Um, but the build went pretty well. Uh, tips, do not use a 140 watt soldering iron to do this. Um, I went through two tips to solder together 20 cells. Uh, and it was just more of a hassle than it's worth 30 to 30, 40 dollars cheap soldering irons that you can find. Um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Check back for more videos and then I will have more updates on this project as it progresses.